Hey Hans, welcome back to my channel. Today I am shooting my very first makeup tutorial. If it is your first time watching videos from this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't be afraid to hit that subscription button and the notification bell. Do like and comment. To those who are back, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So today we are going to be doing an everyday um, makeup look. So since we're going into level three, most people will be going back to campus and most will be going back to work. So I decided that it would be perfect to film an everyday makeup look so let's get into the video so i have done my brows off camera i will be uploading a video on how i do my brows as well as a false eyelash application video within this week so yeah let's get into the video so we are going to prime our face i have um combination to oily skin so i when i use a primer i usually go for a mattifying primer but today i am using the baby skin um instant pore eraser from maybelline i'm going to use this on my t-zone because that is where that is where i have most uh, visible pores So that's done. So with using this pore erasing primer, it's gonna help my foundation look better than it would if I didn't put this because my pores would be very visible. I like using two primers because since I'll be using um, a mattifying primer, I like my skin to have like a dewy effect or like a skin-like look of feel to it so i'm gonna go in with the rose glow from revlon um it's a hydrating and illuminating primer so we are going to use some of that i put this on my hand because if i use the wand on to my skin i'm afraid that um residues on my face are going to contaminate the product so please apply this don't use your wand directly onto your skin, like placing it on your skin, then putting it back into the product because you don't know what's on your skin. Even if you just washed your face, you don't want to be mixing products um, from your skin into your primer, contaminating the whole thing. That's just the pharmacist speaking. Okay, I didn't think this through. I was supposed to first do my face, then my hair. But okay, it's done. It's done. This is so nice. Sometimes on days where I don't like wearing makeup, I just put in the the rose glow onto my skin, and I call it a day. Like after my skincare routine i will be sharing some of that with you guys so yeah we're done with priming so now we are going to go in with the matte and poreless fit me from maybelline in the shade 350 i love this stuff it is also affordable it's like 100 bucks and it has medium to buildable coverage and it dries matte so it won't be looking oily so i'm going to take this brush and i'm just going to apply the foundation all over my skin in dabbing motion
Okay, so now we're gonna go into concealer and gonna highlight our face. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 40. And I think I'm also gonna go in with the Super Stay in 45. It's tan. I know it's a shade close to my tone, if not exact, but I'm just, I'll show you what I'll do. So I'm just gonna put that on the highest points of my face. I wish the wand was a bit thicker. You could get a whole lot more product faster. And then, then this is this thin wand. Oh, it's just this is my preference, but okay. Oh my. So if you can notice, I'm, I'm also like dragging the product a bit close to my nose. Also part of the contouring process to make my nose a bit small because I do have a big nose. And then I'm going to highlight my forehead as well. I'm not going to highlight too much because, yo guys, I've got a big forehead. I was teased in high school in primary school and even now hey i'm still teased about my forehead so there we have it then i'm going to take 10 and on the edges of where i ended in i'm just gonna add there just being bougie i'm showing your heads you guys are like what in the world yeah then i'm going to take my beauty blender and i'm just gonna blend everything in place i'm gonna start in areas where there's least amounts of concealer I'm just gonna dab being careful not to remove products, but to just put it in place. So now we are going to contour our face. So usually you will use a concealer shade that is a shade or two shades darker than your natural skin tone. I could not get um, a concealer shade like that. So I am using the foundation in Pecan, which is 355. And I'm just going to use that as my contour shade. So I'm just going to put that there. And I'm just going to contour my face.
all right so this is how it looks so now i'm going to take a fluffy brush and i'm just gonna blend everything my especially my nose contour with this and then i'm gonna go with another brush to blend that in So I'm going to go back in with my LA Go Pro um, Perfect Precision Eyeliner and I'm just going to fix my brows. So I'm now going to set my face with the Yardley Absolute Translucent Loose Powder. I'm just going to set um, the places where I had highlighted my face. So I'm just going to take a brush like so. Going to look up. So that I set the concealer before it goes into my crease or forms a crease rather. I'm now going to set my contour using the LA Girl Blush Collection, the Spice uh, Palette. Um, I love this uh, palette because it has two blush um, shades and it's got a bronzer and a highlighter. I hardly use the highlighter, but I am going to use the bronzer. So I'm going to use a brush like so, which is similar to the one that I used to contour. And then I'm just going to set my contour when setting your contour or whenever you are putting in your contour for your cheeks or the side of your face you draw a number three so since my hair's in the way i can't draw a three but you normally you'd have to like draw a three
so now I'm going to hold my brush like so, so that I'm able to set the contour on my nose. Don't forget to blend into your brows. that's snatched enough looks decent so I'm gonna take this uh, color blending brush so this is the blending 486 brush and I'm gonna dip into the same contour shade and I'm just gonna run that all over my eyelids Now we are going to blush up the face using the same palette from the Ali Girl Blush Collection. I love blush. So, just going to warm up my face. I think that's enough. Okay, no, wait. Just add a bit more. Hope I don't look like a clown. I think we're good I'm just going to set my face using the Rimmel London insta fix and go <laughs> more like drown my face <laughs> then I'm going to apply some mascara I'm going to use the Essence Get a Big Lashes, the Volume Boost. So, so I'm going to prep for lash application. So now I'm going to go off camera and stick my falsies and then we'll be back just to finish up the look. Hi guys, I'm back. I've stuck on my lashes and we are then going to go into highlighting. So I'm using the Maybelline in the shade Metallic Molten Gold, sorry. And I'm just going to highlight the highest points of my face. I'm going to use this. Okay, actually no. Let's try use. Should I? You know, let's just use the traditional fan brush to highlight the face. Okay.
Yeah, guys. Yeah, I. I think we are there. I think we are done. I think this has come together well. So I'm just gonna set my face again. Woo! Drown my face again because you want to make sure your makeup stays on because it's going to be a long day at work because um my lips are very soft here and matte lipsticks don't stick i'm going to use a gloss this is from essence this is a burgundy plummy color if you guys know of any matte lipsticks that i can use that won't stick that will stick here Please comment down and let me know what it is and where you can get it. You can whip on some lip therapy if you like, lipstick if you like, whatever. Hey guys, so this brings us to the end of our very first makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please do comment down below. Let me know other products you guys would like me to review and anything you'd want to learn more or that I did not mention or did not put in the description box. I will be in the comments. I will be answering the comments that you guys put up. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in our next tutorial.